こんにちは。ハローエビリワン。アイミホコ。In Japanese history from 12th century to early 13th century, Japan was in a transitional period from the aristocratic era to the samurai warrior era. In such chaotic times, there was a man who became a Buddhist monk at the age of 50 and lived alone in a tiny hut in the deep mountain with nature, religion, poetry, and music as friends. His name is Kamono Chome. Chome is his given name. In his young days, He experienced four big disasters in the capital city of Kyoto where he lived. He wrote down how terrible the disasters were and also his philosophy of life in his essays called Hojoki. Hojoki is usually translated as an account from a hut, ten foot square. Ten foot square is the size of his final hut. Hojoki is one of Japan's three major classic essays as well as the pillow book. This time I'll show you what kind of era he lived, what kind of isolated life he spent in the deep mountain. And what kind of outlook on life he finally reached. The opening sentence of Hojoki is very famous in the Japanese literature, expressing a sense of the vanity of life in the Buddhist concept. At the end of this video, I'll read that part in classical Japanese narrative and English translation follows. I hope you'll enjoy it. Chome was born as a second son of a high ranking priest belonging to Shimogamo Shrine. It's a prestigious Shinto shrine in Kyoto. It's responsible for holding the most important Shinto event, Aoi Festival, which is still going on today. The shrine is located in the White Forest. Chome grew up in the capital. Surrounded by beautiful nature. His father was rich, so he spent a happy childhood while learning various arts. From an early age, he was talented in composing poetry and playing the two musical instruments, koto and biwa. Around the time when Chome was born, the two strong groups of samurai warrior families. Repeated fighting for power. The word samurai came from the verb saburau, meaning to serve. Originally, samurai warriors were employed by the emperor and non warrior aristocrats. Finally, one group defeated the other samurai warrior family. In Japanese history, the first samurai warrior general, known as shogun, Took office in 1185. Chome was 30 years old at that time. Its headquarters was established in Kamakura, and Kamakura era lasted 150 years. The road distance between Kamakura and Tokyo is around 55 kilometers or 34 miles. The reason why Kamakura was chosen as the headquarters is that Kamakura is surrounded by mountains in three directions, and one direction faces the sea. Kamakura was a difficult place for enemies to invade. Another reason is Kamakura is far away from the capital city of Kyoto. The system of aristocratic rules was still active. And the location of Kamakura was not easily affected by its imperial court. Today, Kamakura is a popular tourist destination in Japan. It has lots of historical things, 
such as the Great Buddha statue, temples, shrines, and so. Chōmei was supposed to succeed to his father's position at the shrine in the future. However, due to his father's death, he lost his backing at the age of 18. His family relations were complicated, and there was a power struggle among families. While Chōmei wanted to get a position at the shrine, he obtained an official post as an accomplished poet and music player. During eight years in his twenties and thirties, he experienced four disasters in the capital. He actually moved around the people and observed the sites. In his later years, he wrote about them in Hojoki. The first one was a great fire. The fire destroyed one third of the entire capital. The second was a storm. The strong wind blasted three or four city blocks, and a great number of houses were destroyed. The same year, the capital was suddenly moved from Kyoto to an inconvenient location. It caused so great turmoil in people's lives that the capital was relocated to Kyoto in less than a year. The third disaster was a famine. It lasted two full years. Beggars increased, and countless bodies left on the streets. Chome mentions, among the people, the one whose love was deeper always died first, because they give a little food to their loved ones. In families, parents always the first to pass away. The final disaster was a great earthquake and aftershocks lasted for about three months. While observing the people in such terrible situation, Chome got to notice the growing influence of the populist Buddhist movement led by reformist priests. Among the reformist priests was Honen. His teaching was simple, saying that you can go to the heaven just by chanting a prayer to Buddha. His teaching attracted the court nobles, samurai warriors, and common people around the capital. It is said that Chome left his wife and child around the age of 30. Since then, he lived alone. At the age of 50, there was a vacancy in one position as a shrine related to his late father and Chome tried to obtain it. However, his uncle, who was in power as a shrine, strongly opposed it and Chome's attempt failed. He was not from an aristocrat. His work life, surrounded by aristocratic colleagues as a conservative coach, was not satisfying. He was devastated and lost his interest in his ambitions. He suddenly made a decision to become a Buddhist monk. He moved to live in Ohara, the outskirts of the capital. Four years after living in Ohara, he moved to a deep mountain outside the capital and lived in a tiny hut. His final hut was built so that it could be easily rebuilt and carried. One year later, he wrote Hojoki. Today, a stone monument is erected on the site of his residence. One year before he wrote Hojoki, he made a trip to Kamakura and met the third shogun, Sanetomo, the samurai warrior general. The third shogun was a recognized poet and looked for an advisor in the art of poetry. The former boss of Chome at the court recommended him for the position and took him to Kamakura. However, the job interview didn't go well and he was turned down. In Hojoki, he writes about his thoughts and life, which he had finally reached at the end of his life. I'll show you some of them. The subject I hear means Chome. I built the hut for myself alone. Its space is enough for one man. 
I love my lovely one-room hut. I play music, sing, and write poetry for just entertaining my heart. Beautiful scenery doesn't belong to anyone, so anybody can appreciate it with pleasure. Passing season brings us its charm. As I don't interact with people, I don't have to worry about what the other people think of my behavior or environment. I can spend my time as I like. When I don't feel like chanting a prayer to Buddha or reading Buddhist scriptures, I take a rest. I don't stress my mind. I divide my body into two parts, my hands and my feet. My hands are my servants and my legs are vehicle. Always walking, always walking makes the spirit strong. I made a friend with a ten-year-old boy, a son of the mountain keeper. We walked a lot and visited many places together. Our age difference is great, fifty years old. But being together makes both of us delightful. For me, peace of mind is my only wish, is a state of mind, free from any worry. Happiness or unhappiness depends upon your mind. If your heart is not peaceful, neither the treasure nor the big house will be of any use. Who can know the pleasure of a quiet life without experiencing it? He traveled outside Kyoto and passed away at a place where he was staying. He was at the age of 62. The stone monument is built on the site where he was reported to have ended his days. Kōjōki Kamono Chōme Yukukawa no Nagare wa taezu shite Shikamo Moto no Mizu ni arazu Yodomi ni ukabu utakata wa Katsuki e かつ結びて久しくとどまり The current of the flowing river never stops, and yet the water is not the same as before. The foam flows upon stagnant pools, now vanishing, now forming, never stays the same for long. So it's also with the people and dwellings of the world. <laughs>